Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial we will troubleshoot an electric heater. The tools that will be needed are an electrical tester and that's it. Make sure the electricity is off to the system or disconnected. Many times there are more than one breaker. Ensure that all breakers, I, I just shut off every tuple breaker in the panel, you make sure that the electricity is off. Once this is done, remove two wires, remove all actually, all the wires on one side of the electric heaters. If we look in here closely, we can see that this one has two heating circuits. The way you identify a heating circuit is start on one side with one color and end on the other side with a different color, usually. Once this is disconnected, take your tester, set it to ohms resistance, now it's important that we check on, we're going to check on this side where we completely disconnected the wire. On the opposite side, we're going to check where the wire terminates the limit switch. In this example, we have a little over 10 ohms on the top. On the second one down, we have 10.7 ohms as well. Now, in this example, we have 10.7, but let's, let's pretend we had zero ohms, or I shouldn't say zero. Let's pretend it was OL, over limit, out of range. This means that it is open. What we would then do is we would then test across our limit switch. Now, the limit switch, the function of it is it shuts the electricity off in the event that the, that the unit gets too hot. So, we use a tester on each side of the limit switch. Our resistance should be very, very little. Here it's 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is good. Checking the one beneath it is 0.4. So if those were the readings, the next spot we would test would be once again all the way on the left side and then right here where this bolt is on the right side. That will check the actual heating elements themselves. If we do have an OL condition, that will indicate that that heating element is burnt out on that particular circuit. Check the top one, check the bottom one. If you do have an over limit condition, watch the tutorial. Go to the super cool slide rule. That's supercoolslidereel.com. Look at tutorials. Go to heating elements replacing. Watch the tutorial. It'll do step by step on, on how to do that. The next thing that we can test are the heat sequencers. These actually turn the heater on. We have a special tutorial just for that. Go to heat sequencers, dash testing. And finally, to test the transformer, once again, that is a tutorial unto itself. There's so much in here, we had to break this into five or six tutorials to keep it short. Um, this concludes our tutorial. But please stay tuned while I introduce a super cool slide rule. This is the best tool you're ever going to find. It's going to save you tons of money. Thanks for watching. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A in either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code 
gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.